didn't want it to fall off, that's for sure. You know how you crack a nut loose and then you just spin it off? Not today. Not today. The whole way. Oh, big nut. All right. We're here on design time. All right, we're gonna show you how we reverse engineer a tow arm for a C6 or C5 Corvette. I'll give you the step-by-step -step process on uh, measuring what the arm needs to be, picking up on details like thread, taper angle, ball joint style, what we're gonna do, the amount of room that there is in this area. So we need to be cautious of the size of the arm body that we go with, whether it be aluminum or chromoly or steel. Uh, selecting the material, I know that this arm specifically is a really nice design for guys because if you tap the wall or hit somebody, it's generally just going to bend that arm. We want to maintain that structure. So I'll show you what I do on the computer to make that happen and then you'll see the product available at a store near you. Actually no, it's on our website or on Drift HQ. Let's do it, I just got to remove the uh, outer tie rod and we can get a good look at what this arm needs to look like on an aftermarket side of things. Beauty. So, I need to be replaced anyways. Feels a bit grindy. Anyways, this is the arm that we're going to design. You know what? They both don't feel great. So, it's a good thing we're in here doing this. Details, things that we need. Taper angle, thread pitches, diameter and thread pitch. I'm gonna call this one out to be like an M16 by two. Yeah, could be wrong, but it's just kind of what it looks like. So we're gonna get a length from center to center on the pivot. We want the ball joints to be in the exact same spot to maintain our bump steer uh, geometry for the rear. So. The idea is we're going to be making an adapter here that's going to have a shackle and that shackle is going to hold a rod end and then from there we can have a rod end control arm essentially with an adjustable body in the middle that has a left hand and a right hand thread so that we can easily have a replaceable piece where you don't need to remove this because this is actually kind of a pain to remove. At the track it might take you 10 minutes to take it out but uh, if you just had a bolt here and a shackle, it'd be like a 30 second zap it out, pull the bolt and then the arm would come out and then you leave the adapter installed. So we're gonna try and do some things that are really efficient for the driver and make this uh, a really user friendly piece and affordable because these are uh, not made anymore and they are expensive if you do find them, so. Okay, Jack, that's enough. Oh. Ah, definitely correct. M16 by two. And this is an M14 by 1.5 and that's an M12 by 175. How do I know that? Because I have a built-in thread gauge. It's all in the brain. I've just been doing this for a long time. So I just know. Cool. I, I watched you Google it before you started working on it. You should Google something. Ethan, what is his punch factor? Extremely high. It's like 9.5 out of 10. Okay. Fifty-fifty. So in the OEM position, I want this to be about there. So just eyeballing this up. This shackle's thread is uh, too large, but I'm basically just using it as a reference. This jam nut simulates where we're gonna be on the car, and that is our adjusted OEM position. This is the factory rear knuckle. So we're making one of these right now. Cam's making one that has the correct thread for this, but essentially, that is what the replacement is going to look like. This is chromoly. This is 7075 aluminum. These are chromoly rod ends. That is a chromoly tapered stud. And that is essentially 
the replacement arm. So what I do from this point is go to my computer, draw up this setup, input all of the hardware that's required. So bolts, spacers, shackles, materials, separate them into categories of what we need to fabricate, what we need to machine, get a spreadsheet broken down of the cost analysis basically. And once it's all said and done, we'll just go throw this on the car so you can kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like. But once it's all said and done, your replacement part is going to be just this body. This body, which is going to cost around $35. These components are going to be fastened to the chassis and to the knuckle are not going to be your failing points. It's going to be this aluminum body. So I'll bring this over, give you an idea of what it's going to look like. Sandwich this onto the back of the car. Follow me. So the factory rear toe arm goes into this hole. You can see, install that like so. The idea is this is something that you're going to put on you're going to put this portion of the arm on once and then from here on out you won't need to take this section of the arm off again. Okay, so this will be your toe arm and we could mount it really either way, probably this way. And you should be able to just, once this is all tightened in place, you'll be able to just pop this bolt out. Pull this, and then your arm would come off of that mount, and that mount or that joint is just gonna stay in place. And then when you go to reinstall it, it's quite, quite literally this easy. And then your arm would be back in place, reconnect to the knuckle and you have your toe arm, so it's gonna be pretty sweet. Let's go to the computer now. Where? The computer. What's it called? Computer. No, oh, where are we going? <laughs> the designing center. Let's take this into the design center. Ready?
So here is our prototype arm that we whipped up using parts that we had on the shelf. It is the the oof, the uh, the real version will be a tidier setup than this, but this is essentially what it's going to be. So we're going to take this, we're going to insert it. I uh, see that inserts into place. This is going to go there and that is essentially what you're going to be left with you're going to use your wrench here you can adjust your toe you're going to have your left hand on the outer heim joint right hand thread on the inner heim joint adjust it this way adjust it that way throw the nut on top good to go and to do a replacement this will always stay connected to the car and you will simply be just pulling this bolt, which will be a much more efficient way of changing parts on this arm or taking the arm off, because now the arm is gonna look like this and you're gonna leave that connected to the car. So this is pretty much what you're gonna be left with as an arm itself. It's gonna be sweet. Let's take this into the design center. Ready? Ready? 